Uh, welcome to a quick tutorial on uh, rotating machinery. Uh, from time to time I get the request, uh, well, why doesn't TechPlot have a simple way to create uh, a full model if I only have one passage and I want to uh, kind of use periodic mirroring and rotate that passage around to create the entire uh, engine? Uh, is there a way to do that in, in TechPlot? And also I get a lot of questions about, hey, uh, my data is actually not in Cartesian coordinates, it's in cylindrical coordinates. And uh, what can TechPlot do to, to help me with my data? So what I've, I've done is actually I'm, I've brought in a simple model. This is actually uh, an open source geometry where we have two stators and a rotor. And a couple things to point out about the data, if I go to data set info. Uh, you'll see that there's a uh, x coordinate theta and r so this is actually in cylindrical coordinates not in um, Cartesian coordinates and that it's only one profile so the question is well how do I uh, go ahead and generate the rest of the model so what uh, we've recommended is a simple macro and let me show you uh, an example of that macro and this is I opened up in um, C I use notepad plus plus which is really kind of cool because uh, Notepad++ you can actually set the language to uh, like TechPlot in this case and and therefore becomes more of an IDE. So what I've done you can see here is basically uh, I'm setting uh, a thing that's basically the beginning zone which basically says hey I want you to start at, at zone 1 and we create a loop in this case the loop is 18 because it refers to 18 segments there's 18 blo blade rows uh, in this model then we set uh, the beginning zone equal to the zone plus 84 which is the total number of zones that's in this data set uh, we go ahead and duplicate those zones so we're, we're gonna loop 18 times where we'll duplicate the first 84 zones which again is all the zones in this case and uh, we'll put them into the 85th zone which is uh, the start zone then we run a couple of equations here so we're doing a data alter um, where we basically alter those within each loop we minus the number of zones which is an intrinsic variable which uh, is the total number of, of zones in the system and again that's going to keep adding so in the first one there's 84 but then it'll be 160, 68 and so on so we uh, then we duplicate all of the zones next we, we do a couple calculations so we uh, create in this case the uh, coordinate theta and this is the rotation of those zones and then we convert f to Cartesian uh, through a simple of equations I and mean, this is uh, simple geometry so we're going to create an X or a Y coordinate a Z coordinate and we rotate the vectors as well to a momentum Y and a momentum Z uh, based on this theta coordinate and then we set our variables that we're going to plot to X or the uh, Z pardon me and the y, y and z in this case, I did that reverse, and then we also set the u, v, and w variables uh, to be the momentum in x, y, and z rather than in r and theta, and then we reset the, the vector length. So, uh, relatively simple macro. If we go back into TechPlot, so this macro I've added to the Quick Macro panel, and you can do that pretty easily via the uh, TechPlot.mcr file. Um, I typically take the approach see if I can show you here where my techplot.mcr file is in um, one uh, directory and then uh, I typically just point to directory so this is the the macro I just opened and my techplot.mcr file you can see whoops that's too big you can see that uh, down at the bottom here I'll move it up uh, I just add in periodic mirroring and then I point to the macro that I'm editing Okay. It's really quite simple. Okay, so then I can just select that macro and hit play, and uh, you can see kind of what's going on down at the bottom here, where basically it's uh, processing the Y coordinate. Again, it's going through this 18 times. A uh, couple things to point out about memory usage. In fact, the memory usage will be quite low. Um, we do not load all the data to, um, to do this. We kind of load and unload as necessary. And uh, in the end, yeah, this, this will be 18 sections, 18 blade rows, but uh, frankly you, know, you can see it only takes a few seconds and then performance on screen is actually going to be quite nice. Uh, I can actually move this around a tad. Um, 
So the couple of things too that we added uh, to make it a little easier to process and specifically this has to do with uh, how TechBlot does multi-select. So you can actually go in, select a bunch of zones like so and then hit hide them and basically what I can do is like turn off some of these boundaries that I really don't need to see. Um, you can also turn the model on its side and uh, just say select some of the outer boundaries and do the same thing where we can hide them. And what that allows you to do, if you rotate this around now, you can see is we can just kind of turn off in bulk a lot of the outer boundaries if you don't want to see them. Um, you can also use a style file, which I already have, and I'll just uh, load a frame style here. And I believe I put them over here. Um, actually, one, one directory up, and okay, I think it was this one. Just double check which one is there. Modified the most recent 11.6. There you go. And I'll just open that up. And really all a style file does is just change what's shown. And you can see, so this is uh, based on that original one passage. I was able to create the entire uh, engine. And once you have the engine, of course, you can go in and start evaluating uh, the property. So, for example, here it's uh, looking at the, the coordinate and theta, which you know, couldn't be any less interesting. But uh, one thing we can do, of course, is just pop in here and say, oh, well, let's look at like the x-momentum. That actually might be a little more interesting. And uh, we can look, put a slice uh, here, and I believe this is this stator row is in advance of the compressor. And if I move this to the stator row behind the compressor, you can see we have uh, a lot more mixing. And you can see, again, just by looking at the uh, compressor row as well. So this is a simple way to create a mirrored uh, solution using TechPlot 360 and a series of macros. If you have any questions on this or you'd like access to the macro itself, feel free to contact me at d.rittenberg at techplot.com. Uh, we will be extending this capability into the main part of the TechPlot interface probably in sometime in 2015. Uh, but in the meantime, here's a simple way to take one blade passage and create the whole engine. Thanks for watching.